nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, welcome to a new series. How many racks can I run on the table when I'm playing very easy? No problems on the table, okay? This is going to be fun. This is going to be one rack, two racks, three racks. And my record is about eight racks of ten ball. And uh, nine ball, twenty racks when it's very easy. And eleven racks when it's random. So if I've set up the balls the same way every time, I can run 20 racks in 9 ball. If I set up the balls randomly, 11 racks. And in 10 ball, if I set up the balls randomly, 8 racks. Okay, so those are my records here. So let's see what I can do now, today. And it's very, very good that you practice these easy racks. It's very good practice. And you also need to practice those tough racks as well. So don't just practice only, only one type. Never practice only one type. You want to practice both types. Both uh, when you want to play for maybe half an hour without any miss. And then you want to practice those tough, sha tough, tough racks with very tough shots that you need to re really, really play your best to, to run the rack. And, and you need to focus hard. And also, uh, that, 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 that was the short-term short, short, uh, short -term focus and long-term focus when you focus for half an hour. Try to avoid making any, any silly mistakes. And if you play for half an hour and don't, don't uh, miss a ball, it is very exhausting for the brain to do that. So you are practicing your long-term focus. And if you play those tough racks, you practice your, your short-term focus that you really play very, try to play very, very good, your best. You try to play your best, and with those uh, long, long uh, sessions, you practice uh, endurance. You practice endurance to just, just to focus, try to make those easy shots without making any mistake. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, so what will I do here? Yeah, we'll play ten balls, spread out the balls. Okay. And maybe you should just play nine ball this time. I, I want to show you the basics that uh, you want to make it as easy as possible, just, just to get started. So what, here what I like to do is I like to place the nine somewhere here. Seven, I like to place it uh, here. Seven, eight, nine, six over there. And you see, the, you see the pattern I make here, you see the pattern, it's a great pattern here, you see the last, the remaining balls. Six ball there, roll it forward, seven ball there, play position for the, for the eight, it is quite easy, I, I will make it even easier to move the, move the nine there, or maybe nine on the spot there, something like that. From the six to the seven to the eight, easy position for, for the nine here, make it in the corner. And you just need to run in these balls. So it is like you are playing five ball right now. Just need to make those five balls. Then you get to the six and the rest is very easy for you. Okay? So this is how you, you practice these patterns. Okay? Patterns. And from the two to the three, you need some angle on the, on the two ball to get to the three. So that, that is why I place it to people like that. Play somewhere here with the cue ball. So let's begin. Just don't go too far there. Just need to just need to make those easy shots. Make those easy easy shots for half an hour, and you will become a much better player in a tournament if you do that. Shock, three brushes. So I want an angle on the four. So just play, play straight up. Straight up for the three, have an angle there. Perfect. Let's get somewhere here. Oh, for the four ball. There. Little too short. So I need to go. I need to go here, this, this path for the five. Top right spin. There, perfect. Now, now comes the easy part. Low, uh, low right spin. Just a stop shot there. 
and that was soft roll, top left spin. Yeah, and now remaining both when, when there are three balls left, you chop the cue. Three brushes. One, two, three. And now I think I'm just gonna roll it forward soft and play the six, play the eight in the corner there. I don't want to make too much. Uh, I don't want to make too much with the cue ball and risk risk getting bad position on the eight ball. Top left spin. There, cheating the pocket, pocket speed, and little bit right spin here, top, top right spin, and that was the first rack, you see, so easy, because I set up the balls in the same way, I can continue like that, and I can make a variation and do it re reversed. Put the eight ball here instead of seven there. Um, six ball over there. It looks like you just set up the balls differently this time, but it's, it's the same pattern but reversed. Okay, same pattern play here. May put something random here. Okay, so this is the second rack here. Just need to make it easy, easy shots and. Then you can uh, put the five there, make it even easier so for the from the five to the six. Okay, so in the begin beginning of the rack, shock the cue, three brushes, one, two, three, and you want to rotate the cue between every brush, 60 degrees. Let's begin. I want to play position so we'll there. And I would like to come into the angle here, so I will hit the rail. I will hit the rail first and come into the angle. Top right spin. There you go. I just uh, draw it back. I, I don't want to be straight in on the on the three balls. So that that is quite risky. Many players just end up too short here. So I rather hit the rail and then come out a little bit, just to be sure that I don't end up too short. So low left spin. There, go a little further. There, I hit it too thin as well. Now comes a tough shot here. Oof, how can I slow down the cue ball? It will go all the way here. It's going to go all the way there. This is, to, this is going to be a very risky shot, so I'd rather just go this path here, maybe stop on the five if I'm lucky. Start, start the cue ball on the five if I'm lucky there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So thin there. I hit it so thin. What was the noise there? I heard something. Is it still recording? It is recording. So I, now I'm far, far here. Oof. Top spin, just when on a long shot, it is so long and it shoots very soft, you want to avoid side spin. If it was closer, I would be using a little side spin, but now I just use pure top spin, pure top spin. Oh yeah, there you go. I would have, would have required to use a little bit of inside spin to come, come this way with the cue ball, but I just wanted to make sure to, that I would, I would make the shot. It was a tough shot, those, those long, soft rolls. So now, now I went too far to the right here, so this is a tough shot into, into the side pocket. And I, this way, I can cheat the pocket and also throw it in with left spin. To slow down the cube and start somewhere there, but that is quite risky there. I might miss this shot, and if I would go this that direction here with the cube, I might hit the eight there. So that is also risky, and I don't like that either. So I'm gonna just use. Uh, I'm gonna chop the cube now. Time to chop the cube. One, two, three. Oof, tough shot. This is the, the only way to do this is to make it a throw shot. A lot of extreme left spin. Left spin, extreme left spin. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go. Like that. I'm gonna do it again, I'm, let me show you here. I'm gonna show you another way. That way. 
very tight uh, around the corner pocket there, very tight, like that. That is the, I think that, that was the best way to play that shot, much better way. Uh, but now I, I also have a very long shot on the six, so the, the, everything got ruined when I was all, all the way here. It was, I think I was on the three ball, everything got, everything got ruined all the way here from the beginning and then I started getting tougher and tougher shots. And you look at that, now I have a very tough shot on the, on the six ball here, you see? So the beginning is very important, very important in, in the beginning that you don't mess up from, from the beginning, okay? Focus on the beginning. Now I'm on a tough, a very tough shot here. What will I do? I need to shoot very soft. I need to use uh, a draw skid shot. Just pure draw and let it, let it skid. Let the cupel skid all the way here and then it, it will start rolling naturally forwards. Right before hitting the six ball and then it, it, then it becomes like a slow roll. Very soft roll. So I will do that pure draw. Like that. Oh, that is... And I miss a shot. I miss a shot. So the game is over. Too bad. So, until next time, goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool. Play pool. Play pool.